Hello, I'm uh, I'm Mr. Duda with STEM with Mr. Duda. Today we're going to be going over the glow circuit assembly in the Tinkercad series that I'm doing. So stick around. All right, so to get to this, if you haven't done any of the other series, go to tinkercad.com, log in with Google, especially if you're one of my students. Uh, you may or may not have a bunch of things here. It depends on what you've made. Go up to learn, go to lessons. I have made videos on all of these. Click on see all lessons. I've made videos on everything in the first row, as well as a couple in the second row, and then I've so far made spin circuit assembly, move circuit assembly, and today we'll work on glow circuit assembly. The directions are always on the left hand side. I notice I'm growing, glowing a little green. Oh well. All right, in this tutorial, we'll walk through how to use the glow circuit assembly. Use the glow cir Using the glow circuit assembly, you'll build a penguin that can light up when assembled with two real electronic components, a light emitting diode, an LED, and a battery. So it's already made for us, this little penguin, but you can put this, uh, this uh, glow circuit assembly into anything that you've created. Circuit assemblies can be found in their own category in the shapes panel. Now, they it's a little wrong. You go down to here, circuit, and then assemblies, not circuit assemblies like they show. And in here, we can see there's a glow and a glow cutout. So we'll move forward. It says drag the glow circuit assembly into the editor, drag the cutout. So we're just dragging these two out there. Okay, and then we'll hit continue. The next one, select both the glow cutout and the glow circuit assembly and click the align button. So we can just click and drag and highlight both. Then we want to align them. We want to center them. So we click center, and, oops, and we click center. And what that did was it centered the glow circuit inside this hole. And then I would imagine we're going to be putting it inside this penguin. Select the penguin, click on the solid color in the inspector, and check the transparent box. So if we click this, uh, what's we don't want to click hole. Okay, we don't want that. We don't want that. We're changing the color to transparent. The reason why is we want to be able to see inside of it. Okay. So that didn't actually change the color or anything. Obviously, if we 3D printed this, it's not going to it's not going to make a difference in the color. But, um, you know, it's it's so we can see inside of it. And then we click continue and then apply the cutout. So it says click on the top side view. So we just drag this and click top. Drag the cutout so it's centered around the penguin's body. Don't worry about moving the glow circuit assembly for now. Uh, we will add that in the next step. That's strange. Select both the cutout and the penguin. Click the group button. Okay, so uh, for some reason they don't want us to drag. I don't know why we would have centered that then, uh, but I will follow those directions. That's fine. Now, the big issue that you're going to run into is you can't you can't click both of these and click a line. I'll show you what happens. If we click a line and I say, hey, I want to center these right? Oh, it's centered and it's centered. But what ends up happening is it's actually not centered. The reason why is it centers itself on the entire shape and you get these feet sticking out. And so aligning it is not going to work. Now I'm going to undo just so I can grab that a little bit easier. So all we're going to do is this. Now I would say I do like aligning it. Uh, and we'll do that in the next step. Change to the top view, click it, and you're just going to try to center this as much as you can in that shape. Now, I will say if I were creating this, what I would do was I would ungroup the penguin. I don't think they allow. Oh, they do allow that. So actually, the best way that I would suggest, if you want to get this perfect, if you want to get it perfect, uh, this is what I would do. Let me go back. Let me get it. Okay. This is what I would do. I would click on here. And now you could you could ungroup if you want, but if you double click on a piece, you can select it while it's still grouped. What I really quickly want to do is I want to lock it because I don't want anything to change about the penguin. Now I'm going to double click on that piece. I guess we can't, so I will unlock it. Just don't drag anything. I'm double clicking, and now you'll notice I have that cylinder shape highlighted. Okay. 
should work. Then if I click shift and select that as well, now I think I should be able to align them. Let's see how well this works. Nope, didn't work. All right, well, just to, to ease the complications, we'll, we'll drag it the way they want to. Otherwise, you could ungroup this and just select this cylinder in the center of the body and then center that, but uh, we'll just do what they want. I don't want to overcomplicate it for you. So what you want to do is you want to put this generally so it's in the center. Now you can change your views. I notice I want to move it this way. I can use my arrow key, move it a little bit centered. It needs to go to the left, so I'll move it to the left. Move it a tiny bit back. And if you don't like it, how little it's moving, you can change your increments. So then it'll move a lot less. And that looks really, really good to me. All right, select, then they want us to group it. So what we're doing is we're making a hole inside the penguin that size. And so now once it's done grouping, uh, if we could look from the bottom, now I know the work plane is in the way, but this is actually a hole now. Awesome. All right, add the circuit assembly. Now, what they want us to do is take the circuit assembly. The reason why we didn't drag these the, uh, the same exact time is because what would have happened was we would have grouped the, the glow circuit assembly with the penguin. And we don't want that. We want it to be separate. And actually, this doesn't really matter because in, in real life, you would be printing this separately right and putting it in physically so putting it in there uh this is just there's not really a purpose to it okay uh but they are saying drag it in i i don't really see a good reason for that uh i don't you, you don't need it perfectly aligned or anything because you'd be doing that in real life you'd be printing these separately so I think that's a strange step. So I would leave that out. We know the hole inside of it will fit that because they're made to be together and you didn't change the scale or anything. So you're all set on that. Then you could 3D print your design. If you wanted to 3D print your design, if I wanted to print this penguin, I would click on the penguin. I'd say export and I would say the selected shape and then export it as an STL. I would click on this and I would export just the selected shape as an STL. And then you will, just like the other projects, have to buy a couple things. And you can click on this link that says, find all glow components on SparkFun. You'll just need an LED and a three volt coin cell battery. And they fit together once you 3D print it. Now, if they don't fit perfectly when you print it, you might have to shave off a little bit of the plastic. That's just, that's life. That That's what happens. Uh, 3D printers, you know, they're not perfect. I uh, look up acetone bath as well. You you could uh, you could use an acetone vapor uh, bath. Look that up on YouTube. I don't have a video on it, but there are some cool ones on it, and uh, it'll really clean up the outside. And so if you're finding like little jagged edges and stuff, it it might fix that for you without having to physically do much. All right. Add the cell coin battery into it. Add the LED. Eh. So then you'll have your display, you'll have your, uh, your glow, you know, circuit sitting there. I don't know why this is taking so long to, to load, but then you would drop your penguin on top of it. I'm not sure how I, I like how, my, how that looks, uh, maybe color it or I don't, I, I feel like I would print it in black. Uh, I would actually print it these in separate, you know, print the penguin black, do some white maybe print the, the beak orange and put it together. Uh, but I mean, it's cute. That's cute. I, I would spend a little bit more time on it. So that was the glow circuit assembly uh, in Tinkercad. If you're interested, check out my playlist on Tinkercad. I go through a bunch of different lessons. I do talk about not only the 3D design, but also the circuits uh, there's a lot to learn on here. So I hope this was useful. I hope, uh, I hope you enjoyed it and share it with anyone that you think would benefit. Thanks a lot. See ya.